Hello, everybody, and welcome to session nine of our data visualization class. We're starting to actually get close to the end here. Um, after today, we'll only have like six sessions left, and so you're making it. Um, and based on all of the, the Slack conversations and the emails I've been getting from you, um, you're asking for help, which is great, but you're also understanding the course material and you're, you're making great plots um, in the assignments you've been turning in. I'm seeing excellent work, so keep up the great work. This is exciting. Um, so today, we're not introducing any new geoms or anything. Um, what we're going to be talking about is more of kind of the small details you can add to plots to make them more truthful and more helpful and more um, beautiful. Um, and um, mostly today, we're going to be talking about text. And then this will help for the future sessions. We will talk more about specific applications of um, of these different data visualization principles. The cool thing about this is that with comparisons yesterday, you've talked about, or we've, we've covered kind of the main general topics in data visualization, um, where you want to visualize uncertainty and distributions, relationships, comparisons, those are kind of the main things we care about. Um, you've learned a whole bunch of new geoms, geom line and point and bar and call and a whole bunch of other cool things. Um, today, we're not introducing any new, any new geoms. We're just going to be working with, um, or we are introducing a couple geoms, but you've used them before, geom text. Um, and we'll introduce a new function called annotate, which lets you put any type of geom that you want on the graph wherever you want. So if you want to put a specific label somewhere, you can do that. If you want to put a specific shape on there, you can do that. If you want to put a picture of something on there, you can um, with, with annotate. It lets you put any arbitrary thing somewhere on the plot. So that's what we'll be talking about today. Um, and you'll get some more practice doing this with the exercises for today. We'll have exercises um, and or we'll have a lesson and then you'll have an exercise where you get to, to make some plots using annotations and it should be fun. Um, so if you go to the slides for today, um, you should be able to follow along there. There aren't a lot today because again, it's just mostly practice with using geom text and using annotate. Um, we're going to talk about three general topics. First, we're going to discuss the need to fret about little things when you're making um, things for other people, when you're making graphs for other people, or making any sort of creative output. Um, it's important to actually care about the little tiny things that maybe um, are often overlooked, and there's, there's benefit to doing that. Then we'll talk about three different ways to put text into plots. Um, and then we'll talk about something that has nothing to do with data visualization directly, but it's an important concept, especially as we're working with um, geom text repel and other functions that do random things in R, like geom or like jittering, where you get points in random places. Um, it's often important to make sure that that randomness is the same every time you make a plot. Um, and so there are ways to do that. And so we'll talk about seeds and what those mean in R, um, and how you can use seeds to make sure your your results are reproducible and the same every time you make them. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 